In this video, you're going to learn how to keep your Salesforce storage costs low using the Chargent Zero Footprint Tokenization feature. A key way to control the cost of Salesforce is by managing your data footprint. It's no easy feat. You want to store every bit of that valuable customer information because you love in-depth, comprehensive reporting and tracking. We totally get it. But if your business is booming to the extent that you're hitting salesforce.com storage cap and re-upping on the additional storage blocks every month, your margins will suffer and your finance department will sternly encourage you to find a way to reduce these costs. Hey, Chargent fans, we have assembled the top 10 ways that we think you can improve your payments today. To get this valuable resource, just go in the description of this video and click the link. We definitely took notice of this issue when our customers shared with us the number of transactions they were processing. Some of them were processing millions of transactions per month, and they were spending more money every month to increase their salesforce.com storage usage as it relates to payment data. Here's a quick breakdown of how that looks. If you're processing a million transactions per month, you're looking at something like 2,000 megabytes of extra data storage needed each month. At $125 for 500 megabytes of additional storage, that's $500 per month, or 6,060 bucks per year. And if the admin of this org isn't offloading older payment data to a different storage solution, this is an added cost per year, not static. Our customers asked us to develop a solution to minimize these costs, something that would allow them to tokenize their customers' payment information without creating records each time, something to improve their margins and put smiles on their accountants' faces. Our principal technical architect, Eric Alexander, was inspired by the headless software initiatives like Headless Java and Headless Linux. He created a way to enable Chargent customers to process payments in a similar low footprint manner. The idea was simple a component that allows our customers to quickly tokenize payment data via a configurable user interface anywhere within their salesforce.com environment. We call it zero footprint tokenization. Eric didn't want the solution to be cumbersome to implement, so he built it as a lightning component that can be placed within a lightning app or even within our customers' own lightning components. It's easy setup, no additional record creation and no added data storage costs. Are you trying to solve the data storage problem in your own org? Well, our zero footprint tokenization does just that. Ask us about it today. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can watch our next video right here. Here at Chargent, we are always here to help.